welcome to Down the Forest Path video blog. Today I'm starting a short series on ritual tools that are used in the modern Druid tradition. And today we will be starting with the sickle. The sickle is a popular image in Druidry. Um, a very popular image is one of the white-robed druids climbing a tree and cutting down the sacred mistletoe with a golden sickle before it, and catching it in a white cloak or blanket before it hits the ground. Um, this singular account comes from Pliny, from his natural history, and uh, it has instilled itself in the imaginations of people all over the world and has remained a very popular image of druidry today. Mistletoe was known as All Heal, and it has been shown to have many beneficial medicinal qualities. It's more than likely that the Druids had a special ceremony for cutting this sacred herb. And uh, we all know of their love of trees, and the fact that they worshipped in groves called nematons. So whether you actually believe Pliny's account or not, uh, the sickle is a common tool found in Druidry today. Now Pliny's account of a golden sickle is odd, for gold is not a strong enough metal to make a sharp-edged blade from that would actually cut through things. What the sickle was most likely made from was polished uh, bronze, uh, which can shine like gold. Gold just sounds better. So you can find many sickles of various sizes in uh, the easiest place is probably in antiques shops, fairs, or uh, car boot sales, flea markets if you're in North America. Uh, I picked mine up for only eight pounds and um, it just appealed to me, it just called out to me <clears throat> when I saw it. In the, in the shop, um, and it fits wonderfully in my hand. Um, I love the patina that's on the wood of the blade. Um, you can tell that it's been used for many, many years, um, possibly by many, many hands. The wood is rather old and stained with the oil of many different hands. Um, its blade is not sharp, but I don't require it to be because I use it simply for ritual and ceremonial purposes. Um, it either hangs from a girdle or a belt that I have when I'm wearing ritual robes, or it sits on the altar and connects me with um, not only my druid ancestors of the past, but also to the people of this land who have used this tool uh, previously throughout their lives and throughout the seasons. So there are many images from 19th century artists uh, of druids with sickles, both male and female. Um, and if this is an image that appeals to you, um, and which you'd like to explore further, then I encourage you to find your own sickle, to sit with it, to meditate with it, uh, and listen to the stories that it has to tell you. I'm Joanna van der Duven, and this is Down the Forest Path video blog. Stay tuned for more videos on ritual tools in the Druid tradition. Thank you, and see you next time.